Tap on three. No. Five, tap four, oh three, goodness. two, one. Any moment now. There we go. Hey everyone, how are you doing? We are going to do a play test of our new standalone card game, Electric Counts. In Electric Counts, you play one of the titular Electric Counts of the Empire, vying for control of the Imperial Throne, um, and thereby control of the Emperor Empire itself. So I'm here today with Dave Allen, who might be familiar to some of you. Hello. And I'm also here with Kieran Murphy. Hello. So Kieran might, hasn't been on video too much, but he's often been behind the camera. And we have him in today, mainly so that I can try and beat him at this game while there's a record in progress, because I don't think I've ever won a game against you. No, but I will also say that I will be editing this video, and only if I win will it go live. <laughs> yeah. Right, spoilers. So if you're seeing this, you must have won. That's very confident. Yeah, that is I think, good. I think yeah. I have this. Okay. Um, great. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to kick off with this. So we've got our top-down camera to show what's going on. We've already dealt the starting hand, right? That's... The only yeah. thing we've done really so far. We've got starting money. Oh yeah, we've got our starting money, starting with so, three so, shillings. So to say what, what has happened here, um, it's three players. Yep. So we're going to be playing with six cards in our hand. Um, we each get three coins. The deck has already been set up, so you have to count out 20 cards at the end and put the end game on it, and then we're good to go. Yeah, perfect. And yeah, and you're the starting player. So yeah, you, you determine to start the player uh, based on the number on the, the locations that we de yeah. dealt out randomly mm -hmm. at the start. Perfect, so it's going to go you, it's going to go me. We've both got six yeah. cards in our hand, but you've only I've got, only got three, three, but I'll be picking up yeah. So, yeah. discarded cards. At the end of my first turn, I'm going to be passing three cards on to Dave, the worst of my three cards. Um, Looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, let's begin. It's an open board, this is always great because you can go wherever you want. All right, cool. So I'm just going to lay down an attacker, and I'm just going to pair my symbol with it. I'm playing as red, uh, Parks blue, Dave's white, is it? I am white. Yeah. Immediately regretting earlier Revado. <laughs> <laughs> obviously drawn his ire straight away. And I'm going to place a defender of my own. There you go. Okay, thank you. Now, my people mentioned the rules about placing attackers and defenders. So, obviously, attackers yep. go on other people's locations and you play this little token with them. So, I know this is the red players, your attack. Mm -hmm. yep. um, your defender, obviously, you're defending cards that are on your side, so there's no need for that. And with the attackers, what are the rules for placing attackers? Because you can combine multiple cards. You've only played one, but you could have played more. Exactly, yeah. So, with defenders, they have to be different cards, um, as in different named cards. Yeah. With attackers, they have to be similarly named or have an ally keyword so certain mercenary um, attacker cards can, can be paired together because it would make sense for them to be attacking together. Yeah. Um, the one other thing I will say is I have played a card in my reserve. Um, and what that is, is you have a reserve of two cards that you can play to the side so that the next hand of cards that I get will be bigger. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. And once I've taken my go, I draw, I draw reinforcements is what it's called. And it's going to be three cards so that I have pretty much the same setup as what Dave started the game with. So he's going to have his full hand now, and then I'm back down to three. Perfect. So I'm up now, um, and I definitely want to know... Let me see. Okay, well, I want to I'll get... give you a bit of advice. I wouldn't try to defend that. No. <laughs> okay, I'm going to play... I am going to try and defend it. That's because that's what you want me to think. So I've played a defender, I'm playing Gabby's Cluge, who's a strange two defender, and let's see what we've got on the alternative side. Strange eight, okay. Right, well obviously, um, that's Gabby's yes. is gone into Poor the discards. Gavis. He had a bad time. And because I didn't defeat him, the attackers remain on the site. Yeah, so if, if you if you were to to get to the same um, same value or higher, yeah. it would it would have removed all cards and you'd place a fortification. Yeah, I needed an eight plus and I, I, I yeah. could have um, yeah, okay, but that's fine because... Uh, you have the knowledge now. I have the knowledge now and I use it to play Marcus Wolfhart against you. So, defeat one attacker card. Marcus <laughs> is a support card. He takes care of that. It doesn't matter what the strength is. Get out of here. Now, um, and then I want to play a defender on this, which is now being played face down because... Um, yeah, and I have three cards to pass on. Yeah, Perfect. face down because we don't know what that is and they're not being But you've, you would have put in a ah, fortification token down. I skipped a step, yeah. Because I defeated an attack, I get a fortification token down. I would say if you just put it just where the attacker card would normally go. Oh, yeah, sure. That's it'd be clear. kind of a clear indication to everyone that, okay, there's a big fort. That's defender right now, yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. And then I need three cards to place 
with you, which I think I've chosen to give you the smallest possible advantage. <laughs> And then I draw my reinforcements, which is three cards. So here, while we're waiting, here are the cards that Pollock has sent my way. By the magic of green screen technology. Right. I'm going to play a location. I'm going to defend a location. And I'm going to attack a location. Oh, oh very good. good. There you go, Kieran. You've got Duke <laughs> Feuerberg's mean men to contend with there. Well, there's no competing with that. Um, so it's yours. Now, be sure to put a token with it. Mm. Yeah. And there's your dross. Thank you. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to play at a location which gains me a coin. Yeah. Which I have four oh, coins course. now. So I'm going to spend these four coins to gain a new card. Okay. So I'm going to send out quite a, a very high valued attack over here. Like we're talking in the realms of 20 points. Right. And um, I'm going to defend my wide, majestic Reich location. Oh. And then that's three cards to you, Thank you, sir. Perfect. And then you draw reinforcements again. Right. Okay. So does it, everyone else has played a second location, so I think I probably should too. So I'm going to pay Depths of the Forest of Shadows, which earns me one straight away. Thank you. Uh, and that's quite a nice card. It's like uh, five points at the end of the game if I can hold on to it. So just as much as the starting location. And then I'm going to play... Let me see. Okay, yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop a Defender down here. And I'm going to play uh, this card to my reserve, and then I'll pass three. Oh, actually, no, before I do that, I'm gonna spend four and buy an, another card. Let's see what I've got going. So, four shillings back to the reserve, draw another card. So this gives me another action effectively, because I just need to hold on to three, really. Yeah, okay, that's great, actually. So I'm gonna play two cards to my reserve. Mm -hmm. that let me keep an important one and send three to you. And okay. I can draw my own reinforcements. And you're up, Dave. Okay. So when you're playing locations, there's always the question of how wide do you go? You know, yeah. Because you can only defend so much reasonably. It's like any good war, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your core kind of stuff that you're holding on to? Because you can only defend your own things, but you can attack anybody's. Mm. So, yeah. Right. I want to see what you're made of there. Um... I think he's talking to you. No, I don't think so. I see what you're made of there. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see what's happening. So... It's a value of five yep. versus your defense of two. So you actually will beat my Sterling's Revenge Free Company. Something interesting about those two cards is we're kind of breaking the rule we said earlier where attackers need to all be the same. Yeah. Like, because these guys are allies, aren't they? Yeah, so if you if you were to take a, a closer look at Sterling's Revenge Free Company, and they have an ally uh, keyword for any attacker. Yeah. So they can actually just kind of bolster any attack. Because they're quite weak, they're only worth one, yeah. but they are that extra pip you can put on top of anything. Really. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to um, play the Owen Monuments and take a shilling for that. And I'm going to spend four shillings. Well, I wouldn't do that. I would. <laughs> he has. Yeah. <laughs> and that'll buy me another card. I haven't done that. <laughs> um, now you can sell cards as well. Um, each card you sell is going to be worth two points. So you could basically trade two cards in your hand for an additional well, card. I two have the yeah. Kurt yeah, Helborg card, which allows me to discard the Kurt Helborg card and any other cards to replace them. With yeah, you could replace your entire hand. I think I'll do that with two. 
Just for two? Yeah, just for two. Rest of the hand's pretty strong, obviously. Mm. Yeah. That's good news because he's going to be passing over a tree. Yeah, or he's got three really bad cards to, for me. That's yeah, the he other. didn't want to replace them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, too exactly. Bad. <laughs> uh, I'll bank a couple and these are my three. Thank you. Okie dokie. Hmm. Well, I'm going to add an extra defender here. So that's two defenders. I'm going to play the Thriving Trading Town, which will gain me three shillings. I'm going to play my Bloodthirsty Slayer, just to give people a look at what that would be like. It has an ability that is defeat one attacker card. It doesn't defeat a, a whole attack, but it will defeat a single attacker, which is all I needed it to do. Um, and in this instance, I gain a fortification. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if you've used a, a, a support card to remove an attacker or if you've beaten them with your own defenders, they're just gone. It's basically, yeah, once you have defeated the attack. Yeah. For example, there are certain cards like, you know, confusing uh, cartography that will misdirect an attack. Yeah. So you'd move one from your location to an opponent's. But you wouldn't have defeated it, so you don't get a fortification for No, so for as long as the cards go to the exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, these are yours, good sir. Thank you. It's all polite now. So just, <laughs> just wait. Okay, that's me. So I, I like to just pick my uh, reserve back up into my hand, really. It's like the easiest way to... No but you, you can actually forget it. That, yeah, that, yeah, uh, you don't leave them beside you. Pick them up. <laughs> okay, so I want to do this. I want to do this. Bum, bum. Yeah, and I'm not expanding. I've decided to stay a little more focused, at least for this round, than you guys have. So what I'm going to do is... Altor's looking pretty nice over there. Um, but that fortification token, do you want to tell people what that's going to do? Because it's going to make that much harder to take. So basically the uh, fortification token, the very first attack to Altdorf is immediately discarded. Yeah. So, in and I'm sure Park is already planning this, he's going to send a very, very weak attack to destroy the No, I think this apprentice can take it. This apprentice wizard strength too. He certainly he can take it. it. Yeah, cool. And it is destroyed. That unfortunately lost the one, but that's how it goes. And then I'm going to follow that up with, uh, well, I, I'm going to claim it's a more substantial card. Okay. To hold on to that. And then I'm going to um, play. I'm also. Yeah, I'm going to make enemies everywhere, so some other people land out here, seizing the own monuments there on the lovely Reich. Right. Very important. Yeah, hugely important. And then I think I'm going to pass some of the cards Dave gave me over to you now, basically. So that's <laughs> for my reserve. That's my reserve, and these three go to you. Cool. I'll just keep, keep note questions. of what these cards are so that they can receive them back. <laughs> right, well, I'm very curious as to what's assaulting me there. Yeah. And I've got a flamboyant pistol here who can go out and scout and find out who they are. Okay. So I'm going to play him, and that uh, turns and you over. He also has an ability on him there, earn one. Right? Earn one, yes. yes. That's okay. um, some nasty Tillian mercenaries. Yeah, strength six. That was pretty decent. Uh, well, I cannot defend, but what I'm going to do is um, just uh, seek revenge, really. <laughs> so you can have that. All right. Okay, now I have a defender here, so you can play those face up straight away. Oh, yeah. And the fact that there's two cards already makes me nervous. So. <laughs> well. I, yeah, I was. you could say I was prepared for this. Yeah. So my flagellant mob is clearly defeated by these two artillery batteries to absolutely destroy them. But they are only strength one, but they have a nice ability called retreat, which means I take them back into my hand. Oh yeah, let's put it on there. They have retreat, which means that when they're revealed, you can take them back into your hand. But if you play them face up to begin with, that doesn't trigger. So they're not just like a reveal all. Exactly. They're just a... As Dave tried to use them as earlier on. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. Right. Um, so, that's, that's. so I'm going to defend that attack with Grunzel's Defenders and Gavius Klug. I get a earn one for playing Gavius. Um, 
now. Does Gavius die? Because he... That was a four, and I've got a three and a two. And so all your defenders get discarded and oh, replaced yes. with fortification. Fortification. Sorry. Which is much better than a defender. Yeah, yeah, they're just... They're well, in many ways. Like yeah. if, you have a, if you have a high-strength defender, you need a high-strength card attacker to remove them. That's true. But um, yeah, that, that will defeat any one of any card. And I'll uh, go here. And I'll go uh, here. Uh, no, 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 I won't go there. <laughs> you sure? I'll, I'll go there. Oh. So you defeated. Tree versus tree. Favours of the defender. Yeah. And enjoy those. I will. Thank you. Mm. So, my turn, is it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna have a quick look at what my defense already is here. You look away. Oh yes, yeah, so I can't. <laughs> I don't want you to know. No spoilers. So I have this one here, paired with that card there, and I'm going to add a third card to it, so that nobody ever takes it. And that's going to be the third card there. I have a I have a reason for that. It does seem like a foolish move. I'm very curious. The thing is now I'm definitely going to attack that stack just to know, just to know you know, what's there. <laughs> Three level ones. Um, <clears throat> so this is the reason I'm, I'm stacking the defense as high as I am. Um, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Could be foolish. So I'm going to play that card into my reserve and I am going to Play Conscription, um, and that gets me three shillings, because I have one fortification, and because I played it, I earn an extra two. Yeah, and we get You get a shilling, shilling. and uh, Park would also get a shilling. Nice. Thank you. And um, I'm actually going to buy a card, kind of a bit flush. So the timing on something like Conscription is good, because I think we all pass that on at least once. Yes. Let's attack over here. Okay. Let's see what we have. So, defend it. Damn. And I have to pass on three. So they are yours. Thank you. It is me. Okay, so, um, right. I have numerous problems. Um, I need to start hacking away at them, really. Okay, so you know what? Straight away, conscription again. I'm going to play it too. So I get two um, plus one for my uh, fortification token. I think everybody okay. else gets one. I Dave get actually gets two now. Oh, Dave gets two now. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you're welcome. Thank you. Good. So I'm going to spend the four straight away. If you can drop them in for me. Um, to buy another card. So that was basically a card to get another card. Okay, this is oh, not actually, bad. I forgot to draw my cards, actually. Indeed. Right, so straight away, I'm going to drop some Talian mercenaries out here. So because these match, right, I can play them together. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing them face-up because I was already face-up. So I really want to just hang on. Well, well, these Talians have come all the way to see these old monuments. So they really wanted to get a good look. They told their friends about them. Their friends came. Um, and the Bloodthirsty Slayer has already been played. Who else? Who else assassinates? Marcus Wolfhart, but I also that? Have played him. Oh. So okay. yeah, yeah, we'll see how it goes, right? Uh, great. So I want to get a look at some things. I want to see what's going on. I can't deal with that just yet, but I'm going to deal with it somehow. I'm going to play these two to my reserve because we're working on a project that needs them. <laughs> and um, what have we got going on? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to... This is a little bit wasteful, but I'm going to drop an artillery battery on um, the thriving trading town to take out that uh, sure. defense token. So get out of here. If that's your worst card. Yeah, well, we're doing all right. Um, we're doing all right over here. Um, and then I'm going to pop uh, my attack on it, naturally enough, after the artillery has cleared out the space for me. And then I'm going to put... Blah, blah, blah. I can't reserve any more cards. I need these cards. 
Okay, I'm just gonna, I don't know if this is the right move, but I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do, and I wanna get a look at what's over here. So, flip some cards. Let's see what you made of. Flip some cards. Okay, it was, it's, yeah. Okay, so that flagellant's going straight back to your hand. Uh, and otherwise, obviously, it's defended and I'm out of here. Okay. So this is the thing about defenders. You can have a good big stack, but they all really get used up in it. Exactly. So y you can only defend so much, really. You know. Yeah. You need to over defending is a is a bad. Strategy. Yeah, exactly. Because you tie up all those. And I clearly, them. clearly put those cards there to illustrate what a bad strategy that was. Oh, was that it? But you okay. now have a point of defense. <laughs> Fantastic. So yeah, so I, I would have gotten a fortification as a result of it. Okay, so um, no, so I would have had a card that if I had lost those um, defenders, it would have benefited. For me sure, for sure. Well, um, yeah, okay, no, I, I know what I'm up to. Yeah, so I don't have enough attackers to like clear that and take it and also do stuff. So I'm I'm going to just uh, finish up. So here's Thank your you cards. Man. I'll draw my three reinforcements. I've seen a few of these before. It's over to Dave. Okay. <laughs> These two cards are getting passed around quite a lot. And it's not that it's a, they're bad cards either. It's, there's, it's just you have better ones. Yeah, or, well, for the situation, I think is the yeah, thing. It's key but, yeah. Yeah. I, Whereas it, I'm looking at these going, that's a nice way to get a bit of cash. Yeah. I'm going to play Spoils of War. So I earn two for playing the card. Then I get every siege token so I've got a siege token there and yeah. then it's good Anna for Podrick as well because he's got two siege tokens uh, three yeah. three oh yeah. three three indeed three. yes I have two yeah got the one against myself extremely aggressive uh, plays here <laughs> that's um, a nice earner on a turn that's not even I'm gonna yeah. bank that card and I'm going to get rid of your fortification token and I'm going to go for you. Sorry, Kieran. And that's it. Yeah, pass your. I'm, I'm smiling because I feel like it's like we've committed to not letting you win the one game we're filming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We will see. And um, so it's my turn, is it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to immediately play confusing cartography. Okay. Right. And I'm going to redirect one of these three attacks um, into another opponent's location. Um, so it's deciding now, do I want to get rid of Altdorf, you know, and put him towards Middenheim? I think it would be better for me to send Dave's attack into Parik because then I'm getting rid of Dave's attacker and Parik's defender all at once. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. not even his defender. It actually well, gets rid of the fortification, rid of the fortification token. The yeah. defender will stay there, in which case... I'm going to move this straight in here. Okay. Removes your Put fortification so can... and discards himself. Oh, I'm glad oh, I did that. Straight oh, now. I'm glad oh, I did that. Oh, oh, oh no. And let's free that up. Dies um, on the walls of Salzamund. Oh. Which frees up Salzamund for me to send an attack into. No way. Briefly felt bad for you, but it's all and gone then I'm now. going to put a defense here for okay, outdoor. Okay. Um, now you didn't get a fortification token there because you, that attack wasn't defeated. It, well, it was redirected and defeated elsewhere. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't have one. Yeah. Um. Gosh. Okay. I'm going to sell two cards. I'll put them face up. <laughs> there they go. And I'm going to gain one. How many shillings do you get for that? Uh, I don't. Well, I, I would have gotten four, oh, but I'm going to immediately spend oh, nice. those four, oh, yeah, just sure. speeding it up, just to get an extra card. So here we go. I want to see what's attacking my wide majestic wreck. Damn you! Um, <clears throat> so that's my garrison defeated mm -hmm. by the outcast von. The outcast von deal. Mm. And I'm down to three cards, so I'm going to pass them. From uh, Go Trick and Felix fame. Cool. So, yeah, you draw your enforcements and it's me. Okay. Reserves. Right, 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 right. Okay, we can finally do something about this whole scenario here. Okay. So, 
I'm going to play um, Defenders on the Depths of the Forest of Shadows for seven. No, I'm not. That's eight. How do I even add? <laughs> eight. Excuse me. I need to match that number to get rid yeah, of it. So right. I'm going to play all these guys. Now, the Flagella was paid face up, so he's not retreating anywhere. But the attack is defeated. Okay. Get out of here. Right. And I get my fortification on that. Hurrah, hurrah. Um, and what's looking vulnerable out here? The vultures are circling. Not that much, really. No, okay, I'm going to reserve two cards. Yeah, see, you're making very good use of your reserves, um, which is something that well, I think I'm failing to do. So I built up the defenders there, because mm. I don't need exactly enough, yeah. so that's grand. Okay, so I do that, I pass three. Thinking you. These might be familiar too, and draw reinforcements. <laughs> Well, I'm going to give you a very bad turn, Padraig. Savage. Great, because I've got the Bribing the Paymaster card, which defeats one attack automatically, as long as it involves mercenaries. Okay, so that's... So your mighty 12. They were only really a tour group, um, you know, like the tourist group kind of. Uh -huh. to, yeah, so it's not doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're gone. They're, 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 they're fixed. <laughs> you can't trust mercenaries. That is the problem with mercenaries, yeah. Um... I'm also going to just, uh... no, I think I'll turn my attention to Kieran then, and <laughs> I'll attack with Wurlitzers. Uh, Altdorf is under siege once more. Oh, Retreat! Oh, Retreat! So good. Oh. So, I've actually uh, managed to, <laughs> to grab that one, have I? Expected to, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. Well, this uh, is that's a surprise. completely thrown my plans off. Because <laughs> you're going to attack with something a bit stronger, I would imagine. Uh, can't say. It's kind of a feint, really. You know, like, oh, just, the gates are thrown open and right. they're allowed in. Yeah. I have to um, buy a car. <laughs> oh, where'd you get all that cash? <laughs> my God. It's a bit accumulating, it's slowly but surely. Because I think we spent the money we got from that conscription. Oh, immediately. And so on. Yeah, yeah, immediately. Um, okay. He's really, that card is only good if it's in reserve. Now there are certain cards that you'd have to play face up into your reserve. So just make sure he's not one of those. Uh, it doesn't say on the card that he needs. Okay. I'm gonna buy a second card. Right. I'm gonna get rid of oh, your one. Okay, great. With the Tillian Mercenaries. All right, and then those two and go down there. Cool, I'm sure they're very weak. And, and then you can enjoy those. And throw your token down on those three. <laughs> Let's see what I've got. Hey, there's some defenders in here. That's a good, I, I'm, I'm okay. Presumably not if strong had somewhere to defend, <laughs> or you wouldn't have sent them to me. It's uh, a double bluff. The double, double bluff, yeah. It's like they're definitely points. strong enough to defeat that. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Oh, it's my go. Oh, oh, yeah, apologies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so I have three coins at the moment. So I'm going to play a busy coaching in the Four Seasons Coaching Hub. Okay. And the bustling Dockland. All right. Okay. This is the One, this is two, the uh, three. opposite of my strategy. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas Park's like, don't give them anywhere to attack. Whereas Kieran's like, come on, boys. And that gets you nine shillings. Now I don't even bother counting them because I'm going <laughs> to add three coins to it right. to get to 12. You spent 12. So that will get me three, cards three new it. cards. Nice. <clears throat> now, and what I intend to do here is put a garrison in each of them. There, it is tempting to just say the, the, forest shadow, the Forest of Shadows is lost, play new locations and defend those. <laughs> but then I'm just handing you five victory points. I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, do you know what I might do? I think this would be a better move. Just to get rid of this six here, I'm going to play my two defenders to defeat this attack. That's yourself, Dave, isn't it? Yep. So these are all gone, and I replaced them with a nice fortification. Mm -hmm. And I'm passing good time. Okay, my turn. Let's see what's going to happen now. All right. Well, there's new lands to explore. And ah, but they're not worth much. Good. They're not worth much. They're great for coins. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, but, you're not going to win but they're the also, war. How hard will you fight for them? I can probably grab a few. <laughs> I'm not going to get a lot of defenders thrown at them. No, that is very true. Yeah. 
but there certainly is easier pickings or uh, you know more rewarding yeah i am also yeah, looking yeah. at it yeah, yeah yeah okay okay let's see straight up i want to know what's going on over here so i'm going to play um a good solid defense here on depths of horror shows so that's eight what do you got eight yes i'm glad <laughs> i went all in okay get out of here the luminarch of hish and pyromancer oh, my defenders are also gone and fortified once more I don't have a lot, but I'm holding on to it. Um, then I'm going to play a defender oh, here. I forgot to drop. That was very unfortunate because uh, two of the cards Karen passed me could have reinforced that attack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm could glad they're gone, gone now. An, an eight to uh, a fifteen. Perfect. Yeah. Now, um, okay. What? Do I, yeah. This is the thing, right? What? What am I going to do? I am going to chance. Uh, yeah. No. I'm going to blow this. Straight away with a four. The artillery battery levels the old monuments. Okay. The Office of Public Works would be extremely upset. And I am going to launch an attack there as well. So. Right. Cool. So how many... This is We're not getting... Yeah, so these tokens, as well as marking things, they're also like a way of triggering the end condition, aren't they? Yes. So if you would have five siege tokens in play, or five fortification tokens mm. in play you would win the game if they, if, 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 sorry, let me rephrase that. If you started your turn yeah. and had five, as in you played them in the prior turn and no one could remove No one them. could remove me. So five yeah. of either or a combined, or a combined eight. number of eight. Yeah. yeah. So I'm still away from that because I think I've got two um, sieges and two fortifications. And you'll never get the five fortifications at your rate. No, that would, it's, it's not going <laughs> to happen. Never gonna you, you might get it. But. So yeah. here we go. Okay, I'm going to go there. Um, so that's Dave is opportunistic that is for sure and I'm going to auto defeat you here because I auto defeated already last time and do you want to see what it is nah just, just you don't even want to look at what was there let's see what's there that's what did I waste that card on yeah, it was just right. okay. I get my my token Respectable. back, please. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that was that was you. Oh no, that was yes, yeah, that was, was me. Yeah, yeah. I'm confused. Ah, Asking for my token. Um, As you mentioned, then my name. I'm gonna um, do that and earn a shilling, but I'll spend four. Better be a good card. Awesome. Excellent. Dex looking a bit bare bones as well. You know, we're closing in the other. We end are closing in. Anyway. Yeah. So there is an end game card there. We'll discuss that when it happens, but yeah. basically, once it's revealed, the, the normal actions where playing cards is an action and playing defenders is an action and even selling cards or buying cards, they're all separate actions. But in the end game mode, you can only take a single action okay. each turn. Yeah. I've got these defenders here, the flagellant mob. I'm sorry, they're going to have to be blown up with the experimental artillery as a cost of getting rid of your game. <laughs> okay, cool. You get a fortification for that. Yeah. Do you want to show yeah, those ones off, actually? I feel it's yeah, sure. It. So this is a, a lovely little card. And then that's for you. These three for me. Great. Oof. No oh, tree for me. Where did I get my tree cards? Did I pass to you? Don't think so. No, I never did. Oh wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so I should pass those three to you. And right? you should have drawn your drawn own tree, which is the problem. Okay, okay, okay. straight away. You've so. given me tons of locations here. Yeah. Okay. I was so, so taken up with what was happening. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Okay. Tough. Um, I'm going to play these two locations. It's actually getting very close to the edge of the screen here now. Um, and that will earn me a total of four coins, but I'm going to spend them immediately. Oh God, yeah. I think I'm being very rash there. Yes, I think so too. Um, I'm going to play Luther Huss. And he earns me two coins. And I can remove up to three fortification tokens from location cards and return them to their owners. Oh. So don't worry, I'm only getting rid of one of yours. 
Thanks. And Come on. Our arch nemesis who's been ganging up on me. That was a small compact. Two of them are gone. And I'm going to play one card into my reserve, face up into my reserve, Balthazar Gelt. And I'm going to pass three cards. Okay, are we into single action? We, we should address the end game card, yeah. So, has it come up yet? Yeah. It just has it? Came just came up, up there. there. So it came up in the course of my actual turn it here, It should right? have, yeah. I, I had drawn cards. You had drawn. Right, yeah. so what happens is I draw, draw up my normal reinforcements plus the tree, so no one's actually passing cards onto each other anymore. So basically, because I ended my turn, it was revealed during my turn. Yeah. I draw up my full hand side of six cards. Yeah. And then you will take a single action going forward with yeah. these cards. And we're just going to go around. And, and you go around and, and you can you can literally keep going until no one else can play a card. Yeah. Or someone gets five siege. Is it? Or, yeah, so it's basically... At the beginning of their turn. Yeah. Yeah. So th this is where things get dicey now. It gets really risky. Now. And, and it can be really useful to look at the actions possible at this point as well because yeah. up to now we've been like oh we spend a few you know mm -hmm. buy a few cards or whatever because it's your turn and really it's just about can you pass on three cards at the end yeah. but now every action is extremely limited so we can only you know when you buy a card I think you're only buying one right and um, um, so I think you can buy yeah, up to been, two yeah you may buy up to two in fact but no, that's the as many cards as you can afford in one action oh yeah but selling them you can sell selling them as you, yeah, yeah, yeah up exactly. to two so you're going to discard one or two cards in exchange for shilling so that that's an action as well so we do need to keep an eye on that Okay, so obviously, yeah, we got problems. We got problems. But don't worry, um, it's an open board at the moment, really. Yeah, but I need to, I need to figure this out. So you're defended there. That's a problem, uh, and it might be easier to take a little bit of your more marginal, undefended places than trying to like break down the doors of the Reich there. So I'm gonna go straight away, and um, let me see what attacks are going at the moment. Where's this company foot? No. That's the only one. There's a nice see. two level or five victory points. I know, I'm looking at them there. too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's lots going on. That's where I'm going to be going. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. We've yeah. got some nice undefended <laughs> five points. <laughs> well, <laughs> there actually are defended, though. Is the they are, there's people here as well. Yeah. yeah. You, you just have to beat the number and you're fine. Okay. So my one action is I'm, I'm laying siege to Selzmund. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Right. Um, one action then? One action. Yeah. Okay, it's highly profile. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so that's the strength of nine plus this X here, which is a covertly conscripted witch. Um, yeah, which is an ally, any attacker assassinates several things. Let's see what I've got. I have the Reichsguard. So it, it discards the closest um, equivalent. So I think there is a f level or a five strength attack well, there. Well, straight away, the covertly uh, conscripted witch has the assassinate ability. Oh, even better. Assassinates the Reichsguard yeah, yeah. on the so spot. Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay. So that's going to be tough to beat. Yeah, so so, the, the, so we can safely say that Dave now owns that. Yeah, my, my defense there does absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay. We agreed before filming we were going to beat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, great. no. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. I am going to play a lovely little garrison here to defeat this attack. Who does this attack belong to? Yourself. Thank you. Garrison is discarded, and I get a fortification token. And it's I know, turn. yeah, I'm very aware. <laughs> <laughs> He's just not happy. I'm just watching, yeah. Um, okay, for that slight, I think the old monuments are once again in play, I'm afraid. Oh. We're diving in, yeah. What are you up to, Dave? That is questionable. But I won't refuse. I'm going to play <laughs> an attack of tree cards. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. Oh. Well. I mean, they're just, probably not very strong. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of cards left to, you know, anybody's hands to deal with that kind of thing. Okay, <laughs> no. my turn, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and play... Oh, this is dicey. This is dicey. Um, you know what? I don't think there are many attackers left. 
viewers. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to go. Yeah, yeah no, no, I'm going to play Eves of the Drakwald, which gets me one shilling, and is worth four victory points. And now let's okay. see how many attackers other people have in their hands. Dave, <laughs> you just played three on me. You can't have many left, right? This is the problem with the single actions as well, because I would have defended that. Exactly. Okay, yeah. um, Spurs War, I'm going to earn two, and then take everyone who's got siege tokens in play earns another one. So I've got one, two. How uh, many have you got in play? Three probably? in play. Right. Oof. Yeah. They're all on good, valuable stuff. It's not bad, yeah. If I can get one more shilling, I can buy two cards. Here on. My go. I'm gonna play Conscription. Yes, good man. <laughs> oh no, I've none. And basically, what Conscription does is all players, including me, take a shilling for each fortification token. So that's gonna be two for me, one for Dave. And because I played it, I get an extra two. Yeah, yeah. and not even one for me, right? Nope. I have no none. My um, turn. Your turn. Okay, I'm defending Eve's the Drak Vault. You all left it too long. Uh, uh, Dave's turn. Right. Um, I'm going to defend my Grey Mountain Fastness. I think this has to go on the other side here. I'm going to play the Chartered Free Town, which gets me two coins. Nice. Tanking you. Cool. Very good. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to. Oh, what is the question now? Because it could be ending anytime, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna spend four to buy a card. I'm gonna do likewise. Okay. This is not I'm gonna buy two cards. Yeah. Very more efficient use of your turn, really. Exactly. I was actually building up the the shillings till I could afford to. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, my turn. Hmm. See, people have got more cards now. They could have got more attackers. Oh, yeah. There's no way of knowing. You'll find out. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, I'm going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to sell a card. Yeah. So I'm going to sell the Vorburger Vor land to fields for two shots. So you could sell it to two. I could play it for three, but all I'd be doing is handing somebody... Well, actually... But look, no one's going to go for that now at this no stage. No one's going to go for that at this stage, yeah. It's just giving yourself two points. Yeah, cancel that. You're dead right. Vorburger land field get played. Give me one more shilling. Let's go. I'm going to take that from him right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's yeah. better than something else, I guess. <laughs> okay. This is how he plays. He gets inside your head. This is the problem. Right. Um, the Company of Honor are going to march out and defend Solzmund. All right. Well, uh, I'll reveal my attack. It is my attack. Yes, it is. Oh. To the mercenaries, maybe. I've got Ludwig Schwarzhelm. You can no. discard him to get them back. Oh, he just saves your defender? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, the attacker is still mine. Ha <laughs> ha. Salzman is under siege. The Philian mercenaries were unreliable earlier, but uh -huh. I have I've faith that this time. Okay. My turn. What is worth defending? I'm just going to push Parik off this, hopefully. Let's find out. Let's find out. Yes, I am. You are. And that's five on five goes to the... Because a fortification token at this stage of the game is invaluable. Yes, it's very good. Because right? nobody wants to open up an area for somebody else to take it. No, I, I, I you tricked me into it, of course, doing that. But um, mm. yeah. Well, we're here. Okay, my turn. Um, I am going to spend four to buy a card. Yes. The Company of Honor are going to march out and defend the <laughs> Owen Monuments. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Hey. hey! Yeah, they do this one. A fortification token. Into the discard. Okay, and my last card <laughs> is going to be played out here. Oh, wow. It's a forbidding Riverside Fortress. We're it four, is a five victory well. points if I can keep it. There's your shilling. And that gives me a total of two, which is definitely mm -hmm. not enough to buy a card, thankfully. 
So which means that it's... you can be guaranteed that I won't be able to take it another action on my turn unless mm-hmm. something unforeseen happens. Like you could play so a card, little... a support card that gets yeah. me coins. Mm-hmm. No. And that would force the game to continue on. Otherwise, just consider that you only have one turn left. Yeah, right. Well, it's a very simple choice for me. I'm going to play Money Banks the Sir. Ooh. And the Shilling doesn't do a whole lot. Yep. Here you go, though. It's worth four, and I think I'll keep that because... Yeah. There's I'm five. I've got a choice of Moors Park or the Ostermark Hilltop Village. Both the same victory and both the same shilling, so... Uh, Down one goes. <laughs> well, there we go. We'll have the Hilltop Village. Yeah. Very useful nice. to have those big locations mm. to drop at the end. Definitely. You know, when, when it's going to be harder to take. At the start of the game, nobody wants to play them. <laughs> at the end of the game... Yeah, people, people want them. All okay, right. so it starts with me and uh, goes back to me, I should say, and unable to play. No, so the game is officially take. over. Okay. Yeah. How so do we think before we count them up? Well done, Kieran. Are you looking? <laughs> 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 you went wide, and some of them were quite a bit, and some of them were highly defended. And I think it is a case of well done, Kieran. We yeah. just don't have enough attacks. I just gave you so many opportunities to take places. You say, but in retrospect, it's always clear what we should have done, which I think is the nature of war. Okay. Um, so how heavily were they defended? So, the, so let's uh, count, right? So we'll just start with me. So I get five points here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eight, 12, um, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, uh, and 5 is 34, mm-hmm. and that's me. That's you. Okay. Um, so I got 2, 7, uh, 17, plus 6 is 23, 27. You didn't count Salzman, did you? Did I? Because you've got that one. Right, yeah, yeah. let's Sorry, start let's again. again. Sorry. <laughs> 2, cut, 7, 12, 14, plus 8 is 22. 22, not bad. Plus and you 2. Were... Do... I was 32. 32, okay, let's see how If it not works. 34. Yeah, I think uh, 34 was in my head, but anyway. Uh, let me see, so on my home ground, I've got 4, 5, 6, um, 4 is 10, and 5 is 15. And then I have 1... Active attack That's me. against. Oh no, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I got one active attack over here, which is Salzman for five. So what did it? 15, 20. 20. 20 last place. Oh, uh, disaster. Well, there we go. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. That was great. Of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Good game. Um, uh, how well defended were your locations then? They weren't at all. Uh, most of them were completely open, right. but they weren't high enough value for you to consider worth fighting for so there's some yeah. rounds where i played two or three locations of three to two victory points yeah but why would you go for them when you have a lovely four or five victory points I, open I, over i'm here? sure i did and and, and yeah. they got pushed off as well because like they're because they're, they're, they're the, the ones that are worth defending yeah the, yeah. the defender is like no i'm gonna hold on to those so you, you can be better off just taking someone's marginal ground and holding it exactly yeah yeah, yeah. well yes. live and learn eh and going very wide at the end clearly worked out and I, we, we've we have talked about this like whether it's yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah, because uh, you know we don't want to go too much into the game design element mm, over yes, here. Yeah, right? yeah. It's only really just about you know how to play, but it just kind of goes to show that um, bottlenecking yourself in with only one or two or three locations doesn't win the game. Um, and you know you think that me offering all these locations up for people to attack and take from me is a bit foolish. Mm. But it depends on the locations you play, I will say. It, do, it, it, it certainly does. I, I mean, I, I do think if I'd been a bit more clever with my attacks, I could have taken some of those off you. Because, you know, you, well, there was a good big difference, but every if I'd taken three off you, that's three less for you, three more for me. And I'll thank know. Dave there right in the middle of the game. He kind of threw a spanner into works and really went for one of your places. Oh, yeah, this whole attack. And then you're just like, that's it. Revenge is on the way. Yeah. Right. Tassinix Adventures, Ally Any Attacker, the Conscripted Witch is the same, and the Mercenary Commanders. This really was like a momentous attack. Yes. <laughs> the largest call to arms of the entire uh, the entire, entire game. game, yeah. And so what's who, interesting who is, did you have on your coaching in and your coaching hub? Oh, strong strength tree defense. Well, actually, Ooh. not even. I thought it was strength tree. <laughs> they really weren't defended well at all. It's always interesting as well to find um, what cards were excluded from the game. Do you know, I mean, mm. from, from being behind the the 20 that you stack at the bottom at the end of the game. Oh, yes. Because these are basically ones that you won't see through the course of the game. So it kind of mixes up the game as well. Quite yeah. a bit. Yeah, yeah. You know? There are certain cards that there are only one of. 
but you will not necessarily see it in the game that you play. No, it won't be in every game. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah, well, there we go. That is Electric Counts. Um, so that's the latest standalone Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay card game from Cubicle 7 Games. And you can find out more at cubicle7games.com and on our YouTube channel. Um, and we, yeah, on our other venues. We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, all the usuals, all yeah. the social, as the kids say. And you probably see Electric Counts in the, in the shop oh, or in the shelves of your yeah. nearest game store. Uh, indeed, yeah. 